So guys, of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander, and uh, yeah, to have an upload against Brandon, the fairy gym leader from Litio. Uh, I am their attorney, and sadly, I haven't got really the time to pull that off due to um, well, life, I guess, would be the short answer. That's why it hasn't been too many uploads this week, but I'm sure I'm get around to it. Um, so sorry about that, guys. I will come back. And uh, my capture card is on its way back, so hopefully things will figure itself out. So while that is going on, we still have a webcam battle uploaded. So yeah, just look through his team here. He, we got, a, of course, a fairy team base here, which is with Slurpuff, Gardevoir, Klefki, Zylveon, Altaria, which of course, with the Mega Evolution, is going to be fairy, and Mr. Mime. So yeah. Not too many things there's able to deal with. A lot of bulky Pokemon, a lot of Pokemon that kind of wall me out, so I need to um, keep that in mind and um, not lose momentum. I can't win him against him with force alone, and I'm very aware of that. So I'm just going to try to soak whatever is possible and see if I can retaliate. And hopefully, actually, hoping that he sets up and I can actually use my Ditto to come around it. I am using Slowbro, Ditto, Porygon, Conkeldur, and the Configurus. Oh yeah, and Donphan, which obviously isn't shown on a picture there, but um, it's basically a spinner. And my key to winning this battle is Ditto, Porygon, and uh, Slowbro. They are the only ones that actually can kind of manage around it. Klefki is a huge threat for me, obviously not hitting too well like, in Steel types. So I have to keep that in mind, of course. And uh, yeah, basically I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna try to not play offensive, I'm gonna try to wall him out and see if that's even possible. This was definitely a tough battle and it was a very long one, so it's somewhat sped up. So with all this in mind, let's go. So at the get-go here, I really just had to start off with Donfang, hoping for him to bring the... What's it called? The cliff key, and just try to do as much damage as possible on it. He's actually start with Mr. Mime. And I am not feeling that comfortable here. He could pack the energy ball. If that's the case, then there is no way in hell that my Dolphin can kind of deal with that. So Porygon was the better option. And um, basically, I'm just going to, of course, take its filter ability. But that's hardly going to matter. He's going to set up Reflects. So now I know it's kind of a supporter, much like Cliff Key, which means I can't really do too much. I'm just going to go for Discharges and uh, hope for Paralyzation. He'll go to Slurp up here. And I was thinking, you know, it's kind of fine. I mean, he can belly drum. As long as I get him paralyzed, uh, th this should be no issue. Um, and, um, uh, yeah. So, of course, now it's fully set up. It is unburdened and whatnot. So, I do decide to go for another discharge. And I don't get the paralyzation. And, of course, I go for Drain Punch here. Recover bags on, you know, a bit too much. <laughs> and I'm just going to go for a last discharge here. And now I have to do um, sack play. It's basically like that. I don't get... The second uh, paralyzation either. So I decide to sack my con oh my configurus, which is gonna give him mummy, because mummy means one thing and one thing only that it obviously can't outspeed, which is extremely important because now I can bring Ditto, which is scarfed, and um, actually just come in and uh, start off attacking. And obviously I am taking his uh, belly drum boost and reflect wears off, which means that oh yeah he's coming in, which is the Ditto of course and. Uh, yeah, you know, this would be a great play, you know, but he's still got the Klefki around, so I'm gonna lock myself into play rough, and um, I was fearing that the Klefki could pack a Thunder Wave and shut my Ditto down, which is not really what I wanted, so I end up actually, you know, I'm taking one for one, basically. So, like I said, I was expecting Thunder Wave, but here I should go for Reflect. So, a bit of face palm here, because I know that... Uh, that um, a player up would do roughly 40% on that Klefki and that would have been just great. And I did expect him to switch out to the expect him not so I went for eye shot and you know being four times effective that just really sucks now isn't it? That that is terrible damage. So I'm just gonna go to Goran, which is my um, Slowbro. Obviously Slowbro can't really do anything, but it's my best responder to this thing. And I was really hoping for this Alteria to use Dragon Dance and was a physical one. And luckily for me, I did predict right here. Slowbro can actually match this up. I mean, it can't brutalize it, but at the same time, there's not many things Altera can do, and which regenerate can just come in and out and really play with them around. So I'd go for an Ice Beam, and Ice Beam showed to be, you know, it's not the best of damage, but it's enough where I can actually 2 it KO him. So we'll go for a last effort attack here, and had 
I not been able to survive that, I would just have come into Ditto and start off whatever I started off with Ditto last time. But obviously his two main attackers now gone, which means they only got the walls left. And that is where the issue actually begins, because obviously my team is not structured to take down any of his pokes. My Pokemon are able to kinda face him off, which means that I can only match his defenses, I can't really match his offenses, that was it was for, and with his two sweepers gone, you know, we are gonna have some technical problems. So obviously that earthquake did nothing, uh, I'm obviously not offensively invested, but Donphan packed some decent attack really, I got a good base on it, but this Mr. Mime with Reflect Up is just too much of a hassle for me. And uh, he will go for a Psychic, which I did expect, so I'm just gonna go get the re Regenerate to go in and trying to force him out, really. So I did predict right and got him out of there. Back to Klefki. Klefki, obviously being, you know, I won't say a problem, but you know, I can't really kill it. So I decide to switch out to Arkindis just to see if I actually can get a free uh, recover back. And of course, with Prankster, I now <laughs> have no issue to actually going first, but he does pack the Toxic instead of the Thunder Wave, which means that he puts my Porygon on a timer, and um, yet yeah, that is just no fun at all now, is it? And uh, I can't really do anything here, I can go for Discharges, but he's just gonna go for Screens, and there I just felt that, you know, I kinda wanna do the same thing, so I'm trying to force him out here and go to my Ditto just to actually try to steal like a light screen like he is doing right now, because I know he only has special attackers left, which means that I can just be a complete asshole, and I can't really stress it enough, I really felt like that while doing this, but I knew that Light Scream was my best answer, and um, it could actually help me out a lot in this battle, because now I wall out a lot of his pokes too, which means that I can actually stay in longer, and don't really need to worry about anything else, and um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's just gonna go for Reflect again, I mean, at this point, I know exactly what he's doing, um, he knows that he has the better stamina of the teams. I obviously haven't lost too much momentum on my team, but like I said, I don't have the stamina to kind of keep this going. So I know I have to you know, start attacking, and obviously Sylveon is here, and I do get this thing paralyzed, which is great, at the same time it's kind of scary, because Sylveon is probably a Pokemon I can't really kill head-on, and I think my opponent knows this. So I went for recover, I just wanted to scout the damage, um, obviously switched out back to Mr. Mime, and uh, yeah, I think that was a very good plan, because he'll actually... This Mr. Mime packed Trick Room, so me getting it paralyzed actually turned the Sylveon quite threatening, to be honest. Um, so he goes for Trick Room, and um, if I remember correctly, I think I went for a Skull here, because the light screen is off, after all. Let's see here, I don't remember correctly. Yeah, I go straight off for Skull. It's not doing a lot, so I decided to go for a side shock, trying to hit it on its uh, uh, offensive core. But he crits me with a crit uh, with a <laughs> hyper voice, which almost kills me. It puts me in one HP, and that is just awesome. Extremely lucky, of course, and I do get the chance to switch out. And I'm gonna end up almost sacking our Candice here, if I remember correctly, because there is really nothing I can do here, I need to kind of get momentum back, and this Sylveon hits so hard. It, obviously, it specs, but damn, damn it hurts. I mean, I, this is supposed to be my specialty defensive wall, and it can't barely take two of those. So, Twisted Dimension is back to normal, and um, I need to, to, you know, obviously I do outspeed, and I'm gonna try to take him out. I fell short, but he is fully paralyzed there. Which, of course, is extremely lucky for me, because he's gonna be forced to switch out to the Cliff Key. And, um, if I remember correctly, I just went for a Scald, and after this I'll go for a Flamethrower. Um, obviously, you know, I'm not doing a lot of damage here, there is nothing fancy going on here, and he gets me toxic, of course, and that is a huge issue. And the Flamethrower is close enough to take him out, it really is, but at the same time here, I really felt that He's just gonna set up screens, I don't know is it worth for me to kinda take it out, but I needed to, you know, <laughs> I needed to start have Pokemon going down. He actually lived with a slither of health, and I do decide to switch out, and um, yeah, basically I'm just going to try to get as much HP on my Slowbro as possible, plus st stalling out this, uh, this, the turns, because 
as long as the screens are up, there's really nothing I can do, you know, head on to him, and I knew that. And uh, Slowbro is being, of course, one of the biggest deals in this battle. So, yeah, basically, I'm just trying to get back in battle because, like I said before, his stamina is much better in his team structure than I am, which means that I have to play around it. And um, obviously, I'm not that smooth here now, or am I? So, anyway, I'm going to Viralis and Jim. Um, at this point, I'm just going to try to finish it up. I kind of feel that you go. It has been enough turns, and um, I can kind of take on whatever comes my way. He go for a toxic care, and I actually went for an eye shot, hoping for him to go for a flash care and a fall play. But you know, <laughs> it is what it is. So obviously, my dump has been toxic, and that is um, that is just perfect now, isn't it? So now my Dolphin is on a timer too, so Slowbro and Dolphin are not long for this battle if they stay in for too long time, but obviously. I can't do too much with Poke Star here, so Garver is coming in, and I, I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect this me to take a hit here, but it actually goes for Focus Blast, which I felt really strange because um, Garver, of course, packed a variety of moves, but um, I'll just go for the damage here. I'm just gonna fodder off enough, really, and uh, I think he hits two Focus Blasts in a row, which is kind of impressive, to be honest. You know, that is just lucky. I always went for the last effort I shot. Obviously, it's not doing too much. Actually, with the side shock, never mind. But that is gonna prove to be enough. So I'm just gonna go for Ditto because I felt that okay, I can kind of match him and you know steal his hyper voice and win this battle. Well, he doesn't have the hyper voice. He has focus blast, um, will o wisp, side shock, and I think one more move. So I can't do anything. No substitute call mine. Um, and uh, basically. I am not a favorable position. I can't really switch out either. Uh, I do get to score a crit here, which will break the sub. But um, I'm actually gonna lock myself into side shock because that is obviously the safest move. I have focus blast too, um, but focus blast won't do. We won't. Will do like one fourth of the damage on the Mr. Mime and will obviously not work too well on Sylveon with missing and whatnot. So side shock was my safest move, and just try to work around that. So Mr. Mime is gonna come in. And uh, like I said before, Psyshock was my best bet, but it obviously is not doing that much of a damage. And it will set up the Reflect, but obviously <laughs> it was one turn ahead. Um, so I go for another Psyshock, and uh, almost kills it with a another crit, and he'll go for Trick Room. And now I know that I, <laughs> I have to stop attacking him. I have to kind of... Um, oh, how to, how to say it? I really need to make sure that this Trick Room is out. And so we'll set up a Reflect, and there is really nothing this Mr. Mario can do. It packs Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Reflect, and Trick Room. So the attack output is kind of dead with this Pokemon, and he knew that. Uh, so I went to Conkeldur, hoping for him actually to switch out to the Sylveon and see what I'm doing. Because then I can just go for a Mac Punch and finish it off. He decides to stay in, and you know, that is really fine. But at the same time, I really felt that I have to kind of save that in case I screw up with the Trick Room and whatnot. Uh, he goes for a Psychic here, and um, I really felt that, you know, he should start attacking me now, shouldn't he? So, anyway, I'm just gonna go for an attack on him quickly. No, I switch out one more time. Um, I'm just waiting it out. Yeah, I actually switch to Ditto and uh, make sure that I'm Scarfed and can outspeed and can steal his Psychic. And um, if I'm wrong correctly, he will switch out, but he will actually switch out a bit too late, because that was the last turn of the Trick Room. So, uh, yeah, I won the game. Basically, that like that turn kind of decides it. Like I said there, his bolt was so immense after I got his two sweepers out that I couldn't really play around it too much. And I obviously had no offensive pressure against his team. The best respawn I had was actually to steal his Pokemon and use them against him. And um, it worked a bit, but not enough. And uh, that point was it's such a long battle because I just had to, I just had to stall it out, and uh, it, it came pretty close because of that. So GG Brandon, and yeah, I got the fairy badge, and that is the only badge I have actually, and it was a very very fun match. It really were.
So I really hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and um, yeah, as you guys saw, quite stally, and uh, basically my team is just not enough. I did have Ditto as a failsafe, and it's kind of become the MVP of my team, and um, as uh, the little region goes, it's kind of... Um, I made this team a whim just to have fun with it with Trick Room, and obviously it's not working because it is just not packing that enough punch, really. It's just a very, very tanky team, and... Uh, <laughs> Obviously, it's getting to very, very long battles because of that. So, you know, I have to redesign it and come back next time and probably need to play more more into what is required for this type of uh, tourney. So, sorry about that, guys. I, I really am. I'm really sorry about it. And I had a lot of ba fun battles, so I'm going to upload those battles I had because they were fun. Uh, a bit of stolly, but, you know, that is what kind of happens when you build a team like this, <laughs> to be honest.